January 26th, 1997 For Sula Praise Lord, I love your sacred heart which floods me with its love. Yes, like a flowing water is the heart of my king. And now my king says to me, Why have you kept me waiting for so long? The flowers are already approaching on earth. Daughter so longed for, come to me. Come to taste the sweetness of my heart. The Lord speaks. I am your divine spouse who opened your ear to hear my sweet conversation and kindled a desire in you like a flame. I stepped into your life to reveal my beauty to you so that your soul succumbs to my charms. I came to prepare your heart, waking up your love, so that you would drink from the source of my heart, which is sweeter than wine. Then you would seek my resplendent perfection and offer yourself voluntarily to me. Then I, I for my part, would celebrate my strength and my glory for having overpowered you. The footnote reads, it means the evil in me. Our daughter of the king. The footnote reads, Vasiliki means also daughter of the king. I had called you before my angels, so that you and your generation tastes my love. And now, dearest one who constantly trembles for fear of being deceived, your Lord, Father and God of your life tells you, Do not fear, for a heart founded on prayer, love and humility will not flinch at the critical moment of temptation, but will chase the demons away. Have you not noticed how I have exhaled a perfume like incense on you to attract your attention? And now that you are with me, let me ask you, do you know what my sacred heart desires? The footnote reads, I could not guess. That you come to me as a lily, so that I enjoy your heart once I engulf it entirely into my own sacred heart, love for love, heart for heart. Come, just like an ocean swallows up a drop of water, so do I want you to disappear in me. I love you to folly, and I would like to take you into the nuptial chamber of my heart, solely for me, just I and you, so that together we can share a retreat, or is it a pilgrimage you want? Is this what, what you want? The footnotes read, it means the latter, and I sighed not knowing what my Lord wants and means. We would go in the gardens of my heart, and our friendship would be such that even my angels would desire your place. Ah, if only you knew, my beloved one, the love I have for you. Whatever you choose, pilgrimage or retreat, you would not have to walk. I will carry you in my embrace and relieve your feet which stood for me. The footnote reads, Jesus said this ending with some tone of emotion. He slightly shook his divine head. The Lord continues, And relieve your feet which stood for me during hours in your mission, ministering for me. Does not dew relieve the heat? In the same way, I will relieve your feet. Vasula, have you understood why I have come to you as the Sacred Heart? I have come in this way, so that from this very heart, the footnote reads, Jesus was showing with his forefinger his heart, with this very heart you obtain mercy. Yes, not just you, but all of you. Come now, why this trembling? Have I not espoused you to myself with a ring? Have I not given you a glimpse on the delights of my heart? Have I not shown you the goodness of my heart? So why this hesitation? Vasula says, Lord, I simply do not comprehend a bit of what your wishes are. This offer that you want to perform with me, this pilgrimage or retreat, I do not understand. The Lord speaks. 
my beloved whom I raised and called for myself and for my glory, come now and feast in me. I will be your joy and your smile. I will be your banquet. I will let you profit from the treasures of my heart. Take a look at me. Take a look at my heart. Look, have I not opened up the gate of my heart for you? My royal heart was offered to you. Come and find your joy in me. If the world has sworn to hurt you, I, in my turn, have sworn to protect you from absorbing their poison and disignite you for my glory. If the world is treacherous, it would prove to you that I alone am faithful in my love and in my friendship. Therefore, you whom I nurtured, to you I say, do not get discouraged with what happens to you. I have allowed this weight to overwhelm you for my greatest glory. I am my dearest love, ready now to do just about anything for your spiritual growth and the sanctification of your soul. Your company with me will be complete, and I will feel more free to transport you in my arms. I will be more free to run away with you and strengthen our union. I have told you once that even your closest friends would not understand you, and they would cause you impressive wounds, and that by doing so you would become the victim of their thought but they too would become victims of their own fault. I may still reward them afterwards for all the good things they had done, and I will not forget their sacrifices, but I will reprimand them heavily for their harshness towards my chosen one, their lack of charity and gentleness. You will never find in this world, my dove, the perfect heart. No, it is non-existent. I am the sole heart with this one of your mother, who are perfect and unique in our love and fidelity. Come to me, so that I give you the gift of my love. I have stored so many other gifts for you, my beloved. Come to your spouse and allow me to integrate you into my body, in which you can have a peaceful retreat with me. I will take you by your hand, and draw you into the chamber of my heart, where we will embrace in our love. In my love I will restore and console your soul with kisses of my mouth. The footnote reads, Song of Songs 1 verse 1. And you, in this love, even though it is imperfect, you will console your consoler by becoming a balm to my wounds. And while I, your king, will be resting in your arms, savouring every drop of your love, I will be showing you now and then, my sister, my royal heart, this heart that raised you up, in our courts, the footnote reads, the Holy Trinity, this heart that is all, this heart that gives itself abundantly to all mankind, this heart that composed musical melodies and songs for his loved ones. Yes, the one who sings to you now is the lover of mankind, the spouse of the whole earth. The footnote reads, Allusion to Isaiah 54, verse 5. The Lord speaks. While some of you have no memory of your God, to this day, I, in my faithfulness and in the greatness of my love, come to you to offer you my heart. Greater offer than this one cannot give. Let your eyes then marvel at the beauty of my heart. It is the heart of the great sacrifice. It is the heart of the new covenant. It is the heart of the true vine. It is the heart nearest to the Father's heart. It is the heart that shines in the dark, and that darkness could never overpower. It is the heart of the Word made flesh, and who lived among you. It is the heart that lives in your heart, so that all of you become the heart of my heart, and the heart of our heart, 
It is the heart of the martyrs and the prophets who wholeheartedly did the will of the Father and glorified him by their perseverance, their docility and their perfect obedience. It is the heart of complete unity who does not differentiate you from one another since you all belong to this heart. It is the heart who prayed to the Father that you may all be one in us. What is the heart of the Lord like? The heart of the Lord is like an infinite ocean of love and mercy. It is like an incomparable and inestimable treasure that whosoever holds it will never let it go, knowing that in it is eternal life. My heart is like a blazing furnace of love, ready to consume your heart in its love. My heart is light, outshining all the constellations put together. Time slips by between dawn and dusk, and all things pass swiftly, but my love is constant and forever. Come, all you who thirst, but do not even know it, Come and acknowledge this heart of your God, so that you may understand me and know me as thrice holy. Come and possess this heart, so that you set your hearts on my kingdom and all that is righteous. Come and set your heart into my heart, so that one day I can truly say to you, Come, my child, come, and share my throne with me. I have always known you, my own, my remnant, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Come, part of me. Come and inherit what was yours since the foundations of the earth. Breath of my breath, you belong to the one who moves you in intimate union in our oneness. Ah, fruit of my heart, this is what I would be showing you, while I would be reposing like a contented child in your embrace. Promise me, my Vasula, my loved one, to let your bridegroom repose undisturbed in your heart. The footnote reads, I understood that if I lacked peace in my heart, I would disturb the silence my Saviour would like to find. Learn from your beloved. I am gentle and humble in heart, and in me your soul will always find its rest. Let me find the same in you. Let me find gentleness and humility. Fasula says, I do not want to stir my love nor rouse it until it please to awake. The footnote reads Song of Songs 2 verse 7. Therefore, teach me to be as you want me to be, so that I may be pleasing to you. The Lord speaks. My sweetness, felt in your heart, will be the reminder of my holy presence reposing in your heart. But remember, also, that you need only say, I am slipping, and my love immediately will support you lavishing you with thousands of consolations, my beloved. I bless you, giving you my kiss of love. I, Jesus Christ, am always with you. We, us. Signed, Iota Sigma, Jesus. <laughs>